Welcome to another Goldmine 101, our regular series of short presentations, little mini training sessions for helping you get the most out of Goldmine CRM. And in this session, I'm going to cover an easy and free way of backing up your Goldmine data. Regular backups, I'm sure you're aware, are a very important thing to do. It's an insurance policy for your Goldmine system. It ensures that if you have a server crash, which normally is a very rare occurrence, but if you did have a server crash, you'll have a backup of your Goldmine data so that you'll be able to get it up and running quickly. And also backing up your Goldmine data is a key job you must do before doing certain things in Goldmine, like a Goldmine upgrade, like using Global Replace or the Territory Realignment Wizard, or doing mass deletions of data, or maybe importing lots of data into your Goldmine system. And Goldmine will normally remind you when you carry out these operations just to check that you've got a backup. And you will have seen that on our other training sessions when we've gone through those features like Global Replace, Territory Realignment. You will see it coming up to warn you normally that uh, you should have a backup of your Goldmine system. Hello, my name is Tim Wilmot and my company, Wizard Systems, we're a specialist CRM system supplier who helps small and mid-sized organizations improve their sales productivity, marketing and customer service through the use of simple and affordable software solutions like Goldmine. This presentation will be about 10 minutes or so in duration, just an overview of doing SQL backups, not meant to be an in-depth training session, but my company, Wizard Systems, offer many options for advice on things like this and anything else Goldmine related. So please contact us for more information on our Goldmine services. The audio part of this presentation, if you're listening live, is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Also, I'll give you a, an update on Goldmine product news at the end for you to keep you up to date. And for those listening live, this call is being recorded. After the presentation, you will get an email from our system with a link to recording that you can play back at your leisure. And we'll most likely pop it up on our YouTube channel as well, where there's loads and loads of other Goldmine videos for you. So just a brief mention about Wizard Systems. We're a, a long-standing supplier of Goldmine. We provide any kind of service around Goldmine, Goldmine upgrades, Goldmine implementations, any kind of training that you want, and uh, support as well. We've got a permanently manned help desk uh, support service ready to answer your questions to make sure you get, or to make sure you get the most out of Goldmine. Okay, so let's pop into backups then. So I'd like to introduce to you this free utility that we use internally at Wizard Systems and we have recommended to clients. I should say that there is no affiliation uh, of my company, Wizard Systems, with the company that, that creates this backup utility, which is called SQL backup and ftp if you go to sql backup and ftp.com you'll see them says no affiliation we're not getting paid for this event um it's just purely that we've 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 found this a long time ago and it is a really really easy way of backing up your sql goldmine database and include and, in, and including any other sql application that you're running on your server so this is it then SQL backup and FTP, I've installed it. And the first thing that you will see is this screen here. Basically everything's on one screen. And the first question it will ask you is, okay, so you're backing up SQL, where is it? How do you log on to it? So you'll have some way of logging on to that service. That's the first thing that you'll need to pop in. Once you've logged onto that SQL server via this backup utility, you'll then be able to select the one or many databases to back up. Now, I'm running the free version here, 
normally in a business where you, you need to think carefully, you need to go to the SQL backup and FTP.com website and familiarize yourself with the different um, levels. Uh, there, there's normally a one-off purchase for purchasing these different versions of the software. There's about four other versions that you might consider. This is the free version. So there will be, as you might expect with a free version of anything, there may be some limitations. And one of the limitations with the free version, you can only back up two databases. Well, on here, I've got Goldmine and I've got QuoteWorks. So I can back those both up there. I've also got options for backing up system databases as well. This is where my data is here in Goldmine and QuoteWorks, but I may want to back up system data databases as well. Next, where are those backups going to go? Well, I've created one already. You can see there the path it's going to go to. Quite the standard um, path there somewhere else on your server, maybe. Um, you may have other options for periodically moving those uh, BAK files, those backup files somewhere else. But the full complement of destinations, source destinations for those backups are here. Now, some of them are grayed out because as I say, I'm using the light or free version. You can back up to the cloud. You may be using Dropbox, you may be using Drive. Funnily enough, the free version does support OneDrive, a cloud backup um, capability. Uh, but some of the other cloud backup options, which are very popular, um, are grayed out in this free version. So that's the next thing that you'll, you'll select. Next. How often do you want the backups to be um, backed up? How, how, how often, what's the regularity, what's the frequency of this backup as regards the number of hours or even days of the week? So you can actually load some typical backup plans there. <laughs> They've got some quite unusual names, a lazy backup, probably wouldn't select that one, um, a daily simple. So you can do full backups, incremental backups and select the frequency and days of the week that you may want to run those backups. So you can see here that Saturday and Sunday, normal weekend times are in red there. So it's just highlighting maybe you just want to back up the days of the week. The final thing is, is really getting a confirmation via email of when this backup has been done, and if there was a problem in any way, again, sending you an email. So you will get an email um, into your inbox when this has happened, and it will give you quite a nice little audit trail of everything that's happened on that, uh, on that, on that backup. A uh, full little blow by blow, start to finish of the complete process there too give you a, a comfortable sense that, that the backup has been successful for you, but there's a, on failure, send an email to whatever email address it might be. There are some more settings. Again, in the free version, some of these may be unavailable to you. Uh, you can see lots more options there that normally in most cases you wouldn't need to go into. What I've covered there is really all you need for a, an easy and successful and a reliable backup of your Goldmine SQL databases. So where is it? Um, the actual logging onto the server, selecting the database or database says, where is the backup going to go to? What's the frequency of those backups? And just a confirmation email there. You can also create multiple jobs. I've only got one job here, but you could also create other jobs for whatever purpose. Again, you need to um, familiarize yourself with the different uh, levels, different versions of SQL backup and FTP just to make sure that's supported. Over on the right hand side, I'll have a list here of all of the recent uh, backups that I've done. And I can click on these three dots here to restore from a backup. Of course, that's the flip side of doing a backup. Hopefully, Fingers crossed, you'll never need to restore from a backup, but if you need to, um, that's the option there. Again, it's very, very straightforward and very, very fast. So there you are then, SQL backup and FTP. Um, I should say that there are many, many other 
SQL backup utilities out there. Uh, this is just one of those many options. We use it with our Goldmine system. We use the paid version. Um, there is a light version that you may want to try, but go up to S go up to SQL backup tp.com to familiarize yourself with some of the other the different tiers of product there all right so as we normally do on our 101 our weekly 101 sessions if you've got any questions around um backups generally i'd be happy to answer those for you um so question from jerry how does it protect us from ransomware if at all well it, it's it's not going to protect you from the ransomware but the backup is going to protect you from the ransomware so that backup will be able to back up your sql database microsoft sql is a very very secure system and whilst the ransomware may attack the server it will not attack your your backup so that backup is it's gone somewhere it may be in the cloud so that you could quickly reinstall goldmine apply the backup and you're you're up and running uh, depending on how the ransomware has affected you but a very good question next question from sophie we've noticed that we have a lot of old bak files on our server is it possible for the app to delete old backups older than three months, for example. Uh, yes, you can. When you, when you select the destination folder within the app, you will see a setting that you can use to delete um, or auto-delete those old backups. And you can set, and it will say after, and then you can set how many months you'd like. So, uh, yes, it can. Uh, next question, who who can get an email when the service completes? Can we have more than one email address? Uh, yes, you can. I think, even, I think it does actually support it even in the free version, the live version. Um, so in the send confirmation section, where I have those two email addresses, you can um, enter, in the, enter in the first email address and then put a comma and a space, and then the second email address that should work for you. But um, so I, I think that's available in the in the free version, and you you can repeat that for each um, additional addresses you need. Uh, next question: I have uh, in Goldmine. I've got three. So this is from Jeff. I've got three contact files. I guess that I have three databases. Um, yes, that, yeah, if you've got um, separate SQL databases, which you will have, yes, that will be um, three databases. You may then skip over that uh, light version there, Jeff. Uh, question from David, where do you find backup from the gold mine, from the gold mine homepage? This is nothing to do with goldmine.com or the, there is a goldmine, there is a, a My Goldmine type homepage in Goldmine. So this is a third party utility, David, no affiliation to Goldmine or Wizard Systems. It is a general purpose SQL backup utility that's been, been out there for well over a decade, uh, very well respected in the SQL community. Um, so you won't find any reference to this on the Goldmine homepage, I think, as you put that, uh, David. Right, don't think there's any more questions coming through there. So thanks, um, those of you that are listening live that asked those questions. Thank you very much. Um, oh, David, uh, so we need to push it. There is a, a free version, David. Let me just pop into. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Here's the website. Um, let me just scroll up here. That would help. There we go. So I've been demonstrating the free version. Um, notice here, max 2 DB, maximum two databases. So uh, 
David, you'll need to pop up to SQL Backup and FTP, um, familiarize yourself with the, um, the, the, the four other options there. Um, so you've got a, you know, a one-off cost there. It's so cheap. I mean, it's just not worth even thinking about. You know, the price of a tank of petrol, you've got peace of mind in making sure that your, your precious gold mine system is backed up. Obviously, as I scroll down, there will be less and less features, but the light version is pretty good. You know, you've got under two databases. Um, it should be fine for you. Okay. Um, latest news then for you. All our training is online at the moment. Um, we are doing, our, our, our offices have been made COVID safe. And we've just downloaded this morning the um, NHR QR code so that anyone coming into our offices can scan with the latest NHS app. So we are complying with all government regulations. But if you don't want to travel, we are providing all of our services, as we have done for a long time, even well before the pandemic, we, we were supplying online training, online goldmine cons consultancy. 99% of what we do could be done online, but if you, it, it, obviously nothing beats being face-to-face -face with our trainer. So we do offer um, training. We can come to you if it's safe to do so, uh, but we do our training center is sort of open for business for small class sizes, but all of our other training is online. Uh, please contact us if you have any requirements for training, say on the latest version, or if you've got any new starters, or you haven't used Goldmine for a bit and you've got, you've got a bit rusty, um, or you wanna get into email marketing with Goldmine, please contact us for more information on that. The latest release of Goldmine then is 2020.1 came out a few weeks ago. We're implementing that now with our customers. We're upgrading uh, existing customers now that have a maintenance contract with uh, Goldmine. The only way of getting a Goldmine upgrade is to ensure that you've got a Goldmine maintenance contract through Wizard Systems. This will ensure that you have access to these Goldmine updates and a majority of these gold mine updates you can apply, you can install yourself. It just takes a few minutes. This one is a fairly major release and does involve the OAuth implementation in gold mine to make sure that your email processes in gold mine are ultra secure and comply with the protocols as set by Office 365 and Google. They've set um, They've set deadlines for late 2020 to make sure that any system complies with this. Goldmine does 100%. Uh, that will need maybe a little bit of assistance from us, but please consult with our help desk if you want to find out whether that's something you can do yourself or whether you'd like to benefit from the experience of Wizard Systems to do that upgrade for you. Quite an important upgrade that. 2020.1, make sure in a maintenance contract, there is a special offer um, up until 29th of September. Today's event is the 24th of September, 2020. Uh, please contact us for details. If you have been off maintenance for a number of years, there is a special offer to get back on maintenance and get up to date if you're running a very old Goldmine version. So that's it. For me, uh, done on SQL backups, a simple way and free way of backing up your uh, Goldmine SQL database. If you've got any suggestions for future topics that may be of interest to the Goldmine community out there, please drop me a line, tim at wizard-systems.com. There's our other information there, our website, wizard-systems.co.uk. There's our YouTube channel, Wizard Systems. Just pop up there to YouTube, do a search for Wizard Systems, all one word, and you'll find our YouTube channel and a Goldmine playlist there, which has more than 100 Goldmine training videos on there. But we run these live sessions every week. Please get on our mailing list or contact me to get on our mailing list uh, to make sure that you get invites for future uh, training sessions that we're running on a weekly basis. But for those listening live, we'll catch up with you hopefully this time next week for another Goldmine topic. Thanks very much indeed.
and have a good week. Bye-bye.